don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back to sahara football as usual i am your host i'm back salas fiawi today we're going to talk about the ghana under 20 side that's the black satellite now the black satellites are set to take on gambia uh, tomorrow this in the afcon under 20 african cup of nations so now they have already faced gambia in the group stages and coach abdo karim zito spoke to the media we're going to read through the transcripts of that interview he granted the media ahead of that game today and also how their training regimen has been going so far ahead of that uh, clash remember there's another game also uh, uganda who are the minnows or the new boys taking part in this competition for the first time also taking on uh, tunisia so subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell uh, to get more updates so abdul karim zito uh, met the members of the press uh, today that's on sunday and gave them his thoughts on how the game would go and uh, their plans to see how they have what they learned after facing Gambia the first time. Remember, Gambia beat Ghana to qualify for this quarterfinals, in which they beat Central African Republic 3 0, making it to the semis to face Ghana once again. On Saturday, the Black Satellites, uh, Saturday afternoon, they trained and prepared for Monday's semi final match against gambia now the under 20 team made it into the semis of their competition by beating cameroon 4-2 on penalties after both teams drew 1-1 in extra time and now the team held a recovery session at the start olympique de noircourt a next pack on friday a day after the victory of a cameroonian counterpart and now during saturday's session a fitness trainer roy ricky romeo took the players through intensive athletic exercises before abdo karim zito engaged them in some ball works now 23 players participated in the session with all three players still out due to injury three players are out due to injury now the training session which lasted about an hour and 30 minutes this is to prepare the team for Monday's game against Gambia, who have already defeated Ghana in the group stages 2-1. The, the Ghanaians took their lead and eventually succumbed to that 2-1 loss in the first half. And now the team is expected to return to the training grounds on Sunday, and then they did that today to wrap up preparations for the clash on Monday. Remember, Tunisia also take on Uganda in the second semi-final game, uh, which is at 7 p.m. GMT. Ghana is taking on gambia at 4 pm gmt the winners of the semi-finals will advance to the final match which will be played at the start olympic uh, the knockout and in light of that coach abdo karim zito uh, spoke to the media ahead of the game now initially the coach began with saying that weather conditions in nordibu was one of the factors that affected the team's performance in the group stages that's quite interesting he said we had a little problem adapting to the weather early and most of our players have little travel experience and with time they started coping and now we've been able to reach this stage of the competition on the difference between the game against gambia in the group stage and tomorrow's class coach zito says he thinks football is a game of uncertainties uh, and there's always an element of surprise and that's what happened in the group stages against Gambians. So essentially, Code Zito is saying the Gambians caught us off guard. Now remember, Gambia won the Awafu Zone Black Satellites for beating Cameroon during the breakfast a day after their match. It does not always happen in Africa and we did the same for them when they also qualified. Kodito ended by saying that this is what football should be about. It should be about friendship and we should promote positive things in Africa. So that is it then. Pre-match press conference. The press are there ahead of the game you know, on the 6th of March 2021. A third place playoff will also take place on the 5th of March. Remember that Tunisia will also be taking on newbies to this competition, Uganda as well. So that is it there on the front of the Ghana 
black satellites uh, they are ready to go according to abdul karim zito they have learned their mistakes uh, from uh, their first game with gambia in the group stages and uh, they will be hoping uh, to correct and make amends and get the chance to qualify uh, to the next stage which is the final of the competition give me your score prediction in the comments box tomorrow 4 p.m gmt the Ghana black satellite uh, will be taking on uh, the gambia wish them all the very best may the best team win and i hope that best team is ghana of course so that has been it uh, for today i'll see you guys in the next one have a great night